Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 30 of Direwolf20's server play series. I'm with Marafi, and I've got RW Tema here, and I've got Rorax, and uh, there's also a Mysterious Ages hanging around. How is everybody doing? Sweet. Thank you. It's been a while since I've had this many people on TeamSpeak with me. Everybody's so busy. We'll, we'll be hiding. Everybody's so busy. I think everybody's working on 1.7, aren't they? Sure. Yeah. That. Well, real life as well. Real life, 1.7. Everybody has an excuse. <laughs> so oh, I... I working on 1.6. I want to make a blaze farm today. And I want to do it in a new and different way. Well, not too new, but new-ish. Kind of new. Semi-new. A little yeah, bit new. Like, there's a small part of it that's new. But it's going to be pretty similar to things I've done in the past. But it's new, so... There you go. <laughs> is it new, Dai? It's not really new. <laughs> Slightly. So, so it's new, but so it's, it's not new, new. It's not new, new. I'm going with soul shards, yeah, but there's a new aspect to soul shards that I want to show off. So, hence, this is happening. I do also want to uh, like the, the automate second, my wither killing thing. The second you said no, no, I. I had to try really hard not to lull. <laughs> Naughty new new. I don't know what you're saying. Telly dubbies. Okay. Let's get out. What? <laughs> <laughs> what get out? Are you yelling at me for not knowing Telly No, I'm yelling at them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I hope I'm not in trouble for not knowing Telly Uh. How do you like my Wither Battle Arena, Tema? Looking sweet. Pretty good, right? I mean, battle box. Battle box, battle arena. Wither dies, that's all that matters. Oh, you know what would help, probably? Either you were really close, or when somebody spawns a wither, you can get it in the entire mansion. That one. Mm -hmm. uh, you can. Yeah, it's similar to, like, fun. when you kill the ender dragon, everybody on the server knows. Everybody knows. Right. Here, Tema, okay. I have lots of uh, thought... division sigils, if you want one. Really there. Um, you can uncraft them for iron if you want. Oh, really? Just on its own in the crafting grid. You get That's a random terrible. Amount of iron. iron? <laughs> I got one iron for it? <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'd rather have unlimited useless division sigils that I'll never use than one piece of iron. I, for one, am appreciative, well, Timmer. Don't listen to that evil man. No, no, you listen. And you listen good. <laughs> one piece of iron is not sufficient. <laughs> well, you, you can get more. Okay, good. Like, what is it, like, random chance, though? It's random chance. Oh, I'm not a fan of random chance, Tim, I gotta say. That sounds a little, a little rough. Okay, well, you're messing with, like, dividing zero here. Well, dividing diamonds, even, so... I don't think you really have a choice, Dyer. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like I do have a choice. <laughs> because you um, can just not do it. Shh, you. Stop with your logic. Yeah, logic. <laughs> And as you mentioned, the division sigil chat goes, you could use a builder's wand. Nope. No, I couldn't. Because I don't have one. I have nine. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Uh, Why don't you have nine? Because I have one and that's all I need? Prob yeah. I don't have nine because I probably eat it. Love uh, is all you need, Diane? Yeah. Level. Ah, there we are. Found my way into that thing. Okay, cool. Uh, so how do I want this to work? Hmm, that's the question of the ages. Uh, I guess I could just, like, run stuff over to here. So I'm thinking, how do I want this to work? I want there to be blazes spawning. I might as well hook into this Tesseract and all that stuff back here. So that I can get um, mob essence. So if I'm going to get mob essence, I'm going to need some grinders. That's what I'm thinking. 
Things are happening that are probably weird or bad. Are you doing something to me? No. Actually, can I try out my new um, arrows on you? I am getting a lot of weird texture derpiness. Are you doing something? Or you have an item on or something? It's only when I look at you. There's something wrong with you. It's better now. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fact! <laughs> Go back to, yeah, that. Whatever that is, mm. is bad. Mm. Okay. Like, I, let me screenshot this. Hold on. There's something wrong yeah, with you. like, all right, hold on. Don't move. Don't move. Hold on Actually, a second. That's even worse. There's something wrong with you, but only when I look at you. <laughs> yeah. All right, now undo whatever you're doing. Change your item in your hand. There you go. All better. All right, let me send you these screenshots. You're doing something. You remember what would happen with um, the um, the flight mechanic from Thalmcraft? Mm. That, that's happening. All right, YouTube, we'll be back in a minute. Let me give Tema these screenshots. All right, guys, we're back, and I'm making myself something from Thalmcraft for this build. Uh, let's get this, 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 and this. Gets me, as we might know, Transvector Interface. Ah, that's going to play a role here. Um, it's going to play the role of I'm being lazy and also making more work for myself. Because that's what I do. How am I for liquid ducks? How do you both be lazy and create more work for yourself? Because I'm being lazy because I don't want to have to do something. Okay. Is that better? Oh, you know what else I probably want is a barrel. A barrel to keep all my stuff in. So here's what happened, right? When we were building like the um, the mob trap back here, Soren's the one who placed the tesseract, so he put it in friend mode instead of like public mode, which means that he's the only one who can access it. So if I want to have a tesseract on the same frequency, I can't unless he places it. So, like. I can't place a Soren Tesseract, unfortunately. Um, that sounds... Yeah. Right? So what I'm thinking is we're going to have... Does he at least pay the rent? He did not pay the rent. Oh, you should kick him out. I should, but, you know. Just uh, put all the Soren chests outside the front door and change the locks. That just feels mean. It's constantly inconvenience, inconveniencing you or uh, breaching the roommate agreement. Right? I know. Let's see if I can make one of these close. I just need a piston and a gold sword. So what I can do here is I'm going to hook this thing up here. Wrench him around. There we go. And then I want to be able to access this thing's inventory and everything from back there, because I'm going to need multiple things going into it, right? So we're going to need item ducts and redstone power and all kinds of other stuff. So let's transvector interface it and see how well it'll work with all three types of things going into it. So transvector interface, here goes nothing. Uh, is it here first? Binding complete? Okay. I guess. Not a okay, yeah. So you do have to do the transvector interface first. Cool. It even tells you in a tooltip now. Connected to the MFR machine zero dot name. Awesome. All right. So what we're gonna do then is um, probably run power and such. I am outside. Cool. So one of these sides will go power, one of these sides will go liquid. That's all going to go into here, right? So items probably have, let's see. I'm trying to make sure that I don't impact the existing build at all. So let's say we wanted redstone and fluid.
And the goal, of course, is to be able to navigate inside this area despite the fans. Where's Mikey been? I need to recommend to him that fans need redstone signal equals off. And remember the um, transvector interfaces have a range limit, so keep that in mind. Hey, look, it got power. Nice. That's what I wanted to see. Perfect. Um, and then fluid. So that's going to be by way of this side. So fluid duct. So hard to do when you know things are happening. Also, the ability to run fluid ducts past a torch in the same block, my favorite. All right, you're going to export your mob essence, and I can make a pneumatic servo real quick. I think if I don't already have one. There you go, always pumping out mob essence, that'll work. And then finally, I'm probably gonna want another pneumatic servo for the item ducts anyway. So we'll do this, and we'll item duct this thing into a barrel. Probably gonna stick it right here. How's that sound? Barrel, you go here. I have no idea where I am. Hey, there I am. Okay, I'm a little bit high. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, it's a Tema. Mm. Hello. So could I have done this all with, uh, you know, the MFR block and just put covers on it? Sure. But this sounded like more fun. And that's what I'm about here. Having fun. That's kind of cool, isn't it? This should work. We're about to find out, at least. We're going to set you to low. So if there's, like, all right, the grinder, that should be cool. That should be cool. That should be cool. So really, the best way to test this is to get this thing running. So um, what we're going to want to do next is probably, I'm going to want some smooth stone. So let me make sure I have some of that, because I'm going to need to cover this place up a little bit. Mm. Or maybe I should want to be able to um, I don't think the item ducks thing is going to work, because um, MFR machines will eject to um, item ducks, but they're not counted as inventories themselves. No. Mm. So I'm wondering what will happen with the trans vector interface doohickey with the whole auto eject to adjacent inventories thing. How do you think that'll work? Or will it not? Probably won't. Probably won't, but worth a try, right? If it doesn't, I'll just plug it into the back. Because I, I do have one mm. open inventory slot in the back there like that. And then I'm going to use my favorite mob trap item. Have you noticed a pattern, Tema? Um, not really. <laughs> you don't notice a pattern in all my mob traps? Yeah. Nah, they're all pretty much different. Do they? Okay. Well. Yeah. I'm glad to I'm glad to know that you know my patterns have gone <laughs> noticed. <laughs> I think I'm going to have my soul cage here, which is going to require a bat form, and we're going to go with the signal terminals and signal bus from Tinker's Mechworks, because you guys know I love those things, right? I'm probably going to want just to have this here. There we go. Sorry, you guys probably can't see. Uh, we'll plug this guy on there. He can be white signals fine. 
Um, we'll probably go with, you know, just that's fine right there. And let's put our lever for the control. Why not? Right above the barrel. How's that sound? And you guys might be worried a little bit, but don't worry. Good things are coming. You might be saying, Dyer, didn't you build something just like this and it like wasn't cool? And I'm going to say, don't worry. Good things are coming. Maybe I want to put this... Hmm, I know what I'll do. Yeah, that'll work. And then spool of wire there to there. Oh. And then you to there. That looks like it should work, right? We'll see what happens. Done. Who what now? Uh, this is my thumb crafter. Oh, I've got. Hey, it's working. Cool. Good test, right? Probably best to test with a lamp instead of the blaze spawner of doom. Of doom? Well, it's going to be the blaze spawner of doom pretty soon here. Alright, the only other thing we're going to need is... Do I want to do water to push them back there? I'm thinking probably. That's probably what I'm going to want. Let me get a couple buckets here. The good news is I have plenty of buckets. I'm guessing it was Soren who decided we need 174 buckets. Soren does things like that sometimes. There we go. And falling. Let's hook this up now. This should work like here, here. Here, here, here. How's that look, Emma? Mm -hmm. It's not quite as cool as the other one, because the other one had to turn off for the water, but that's okay. This'll do. Maybe at some point I'll add in something to turn off the water somehow. But for now, I just want to see if this works all the way, and then we'll maybe finesse it a little bit. All right, so this guy's going to go in there, and he's going to be cool. But, um, ah, that's not good. That is not good at all. I didn't think he would be able to spawn all the way out there. Maybe I have to move him in just a little bit further. Let's turn you off. Okay, good. Alright, I'm gonna have to move this a little bit, guys, so I'll be right back. Alright, let's try this again. You're connected to there, so this thing should be now... I guess... Oh. Why are you that color? There we go, that's better. Okay. Um, so, let's get this guy covered up now, because I don't want blazes spawning up here. That would probably be bad. Right. Cool. So now we should be good. Just want to make sure it's small enough back here that no blazes can really spawn. Alright, here goes nothing. Now, if we upgrade this with another star, boom, check that out. You can't tell, but trust me when I tell you, it's upgraded. You can tell it's upgraded because when you mouse over it, it says upgraded as an item. So there we go. Soul Cage upgraded. Here goes. I think it causes them to spawn more per 
you know, spawn process. And it also allows it to run in chunk-loaded chunks when players are not around. So that is very cool, and I think a lot of people will be happy to hear that. So, let's see if we're getting blazes or not. And spawn, please. Mr. Blaze Spawner. Is this too low, you think? I would expect this to work, but maybe not. Maybe it's too low. Alright guys, give me a few minutes, we'll be right back. I'm gonna keep an eye on it for a sec, let's see. Alright guys, now we're talking. Moved it down out of the ceiling, and it's cruising. It's actually spawning things pretty quickly, too. The question is, are we getting blaze rods and everything else? Now it's just spitting the blaze rods out the back. That's okay, that's not a problem. What we can do then is just item duck the blaze rods. So you were right, Tema. It did not work with blaze rods out the back. It's okay. It's not that big a deal. Are you sure they go into the... You know what, maybe this has to be set like that? There it goes. Yes, now it's running. Cool. And we're starting to get stuff here. And clearly we're getting mob essence out here, so that works. So mob essence is working, power is working, and blaze rods are working. Nice. And we've got an on-off switch. That is cool. Uh, let's see. I probably just want to have one more thing. Um debating how if I want to do this or not. Fans just annoy me, but they're not too bad. I think this thing can only reach a 3x3 three three square in front of it, so if they do hit the corners here, they're not getting hit. So, how do I want to fix that? Do I want to do it with the fans? I'm probably going to have to do fans. Hey, I have an F2. That's perfect. Just curious if these guys will work. Let's see. That should stabilize right into the center there. So let's see what happens now. Go Blaze Farm, go. Funny how they're trying to go against the flow of water. That's interesting. Maybe I should do it with fans instead of water. Yeah, I don't like fans though. They're not fans. Fans totally need an on-off switch. That's what they need, and then they'd be awesome. Conveyors. Yeah, I could use conveyors. But they fly, so that's my concern: is that the conveyors won't catch them. Um, they won't fly unless there's a player nearby. I mean, they're attacking the player. Yeah. Maybe I'll use your conveyors. Oh, but they need tracks. I don't think I have any of the stuff to make tracks. Mm. That's harsh. Um... Am I really that low on rubber? Okay, I guess I am. Alright, back in a minute, guys. Gonna figure out a solution. Alright guys, a little bit of crafting later and I managed to get myself a conveyor rail. Or maybe several. Alright, conveyor belts, let's do this. This might be better than water. Like, conveyor belts are stronger than water, right, Demma? Um, I don't know. I've never really compared them. I think they're about the same. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. You can speed them up by putting ice on them. Which is a technical vanilla boat. Oh, really? Yep. Ice underneath them? That's interesting. It's, yeah, basically if you um, are standing on a block above ice, um, it, you don't have any friction. And because conveyors are technically 7 eighths of a block, you technically count. 
so you no longer have any friction or air resistance when you're traveling along. You can use some pretty high speeds, but not in so Not intended, but vanilla bug. Interesting. Yeah, it's fun. Well, yeah. if it comes down to it, I might try that. Should be fine for um, getting the blazer going. All right, let's see how the blazes behave here. If this doesn't work, I might have to use blackout curtains. Or maybe try the ice thing that Tama mentioned. That's kind of working pretty good. I mean, they are definitely going that way. Now I just need the thing to kill them. Come on, thing, kill them. And you're not killing them because... why? Mm -hmm. Did you unblock it? Yeah, no, it shouldn't be blocked. Ah, what shit. are you doing? <laughs> Explosions. I, shit, I... Well, damn it. You, sir, owe me some ethereal glass. Shoot. That was... That's the opposite of what you intended. Hey, Ari's on. I was... I, I forgot I had the primal... purpose. <laughs> All right, back in a minute, guys. Gonna repair this and then try and figure out why this thing is not behaving. All right, guys. Found out that the item ducts into the back of the grinder just wasn't behaving. So hey, chest, item duct, automatic export. That'll do just fine. So now, here goes nothing. And then they should zip right into there and die. Kill them. Kill them quickly. Don't make a liar out of me. There it goes. It killed them. Cool. Killing, killing. Lots of killing of things. Nice. That's an awesome farm. How you doing, Ari? I think Hi. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if you were still listening since you were starting up your stream. I'm always listening. Excellent. All right, guys, we'll be back in just a minute because I think we're done with this build for now. So why is there an invisible Tema sheep? What are you, a ghost cow? Ah, there you are. <laughs> You're less invisible now. <laughs> Was that like invisibility or is magic invisibility? Uh, this is um, module power suits invisibility. Oh, camouflage mode. Nice. You know what? The the glowing effect of that thing still is visible, kind of. Mm. So you're not totally invisible. I can still it's see you. Cool, it does look cool. It looks like a ghost thing. Am I, am I invisible now? Uh, yeah, let's see. How invisible is Tema? I can see the item you're holding Switch in your hand boiler. sometimes. There you are. Switch I found Tema. <laughs> I found him somewhere. Bizarre item. Yes, it does. I found a Tema. <laughs> That's cool. All right, guys. So we have a Blaze farm. It is rocking too. Uh, it is eating up the blazes and having a good time with it. And it should run even when I'm not offline. So I think the plan is to let that go, and it'll get lots of stuff. The conveyor belts are working better than the water, so cool. I like that. You are a very large zombie. <laughs> Tema is chasing me around. Alright guys, so um, I think we've made some good progress. I discovered I need to do a little bit more research with Thomcraft before I can get into the Thomic Kami stuff, but I would definitely want to check that out. 
So, um, let's see, where am I at with the Thumbcraft research? I, I got a couple more, but I think I still have a little bit more to do. Yeah, just a little bit more research to do, and then I should be able to start looking into that stuff. So m probably soon I'll be able to get to that, guys. Promise. As soon as I can, I will. Yeah, it it, it, it does show up in the Thaumic Tinkering. It's I need to unlock all the Thaumcraft research, Rorax, or all the Thaumic yes. Tinkerer research? All the Thaumcraft and Thaumic Tinkerer. Anything that appears in those two. Okay, so I don't have to worry about Apiomancy, right? Nope, or Trachiomancy. <laughs> cool. All right, cool. So we'll start looking at that. And then um, there's a lot of other things I'd like to get going on. So we'll be back next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode and take it easy.